Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Joomla on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. This is Windows 10. It should work on 11, 8, 8.1 and 7 as well. So the first thing first, you must go ahead and download Joomla on your system so go to joomla.org and then click this download button the fat yellow orange -ish. now you got two options to start with so you can install the latest release which is 5.1.4 at this uh, today which is second october 2024 and then you have this uh upgrade package so download the package and you can upgrade from the previous Joomla okay so we'll go with this one and simply go ahead and click download let the download finish and here we are I have the download okay so to run Joomla locally on your system you need to have a server and PHP also a database so server it could be I would go with the Apache Friends XAM so you can go ahead and install Apache uh, Friends this gives you everything and it is also a cross platform so if you are on let's say Mac or Linux you can install it so for Windows, you simply download this one, which will give you PHP 8.2, uh, Apache Server, and MariaDB, which is basically MySQL. Okay, so I already have installed it. What I need to do, I simply go ahead and locate my ZAMP control panel and run this um, server and MySQL, which is MariaDB. So Apache started MySQL started now I need to get into MySQL admin which is available at localhost slash php my admin and here I need to create a database for this Joomla installation so I'm just waiting this for this to complete the download in the meanwhile I'll go ahead and create the database so click this new and type the database name I'm going to say June uh, 5 Latin Swedish CR uh, you can say like collation and create Database has been created, real connect, you can go to configuration failed, what is that? So if something happens like this, you go here, uh, these are the users we have. I can run some operation on this database. Uh, I can drop this database so that database has been dropped I can go ahead and click quickly create another database which is going to be Joom 5 uh, I don't know why it's selecting this Latin uh, I can go ahead and check UTF-8 Uh, UTF-8 MB4 okay Joomla is installed now let me okay so you cannot do that what I want is uh, English UTF-8 32 Latin hmm, MB4, and then you need uh, 
Croatia, no, I don't know Croatia. That is that should work. So go ahead and create it, and you are done. Now we can go ahead and basically uh, use this database. I have a username and password for this uh, database. So download is complete. All I need to do is go ahead and locate and unzip it. So I'm simply going to unzip it using 7-zip, or you can simply click extract all. I'm going to use 7-zip. It's quicker than the default Microsoft extractor. Uh, so once it is extracted, all you have to do is copy the extracted folder, rename it, copy it, and put it in XM HD folder. So what this is what I'm going to do. You can see the extraction is done, and this is what we have. Oh, that is a compressed one. So I'm just going to uh, click on this one. The folder, not the compressed zip file. And you need to carry this over to. Uh, I'm going to copy it and go to C drive. Open the XM folder, go get into HDDocs, and paste that in here, and then you can rename it. Okay, so you can see it is going to take some time depending on the system you have and I have. So it's very straightforward process all you have to do download the Joomla download and install XAMPP server that gives you up everything you need Apache MySQL and PHP all installed and running okay so once it is done you must rename it okay once it is renamed, you'll be able to access it via uh, this local host server. So local host slash and then folder name. I'm going to say Zoom file. Okay, so that is the name I'm going to give it to. You can see it. It is not found yet under this uh, HDDoc folder. So you can see the, the copy paste is almost done. It is a bit slower. Sometimes it is slower. Sometimes it is fast and faster. I don't know why. Okay, so here we have our. What I'm going to do? I'm going to rename it to Zoom Five. Okay, all lowercase. One word done. Once that's done, I'm just going to refresh it. Just hit this. I don't know what you call it. Refresh icon, and then it should just pull up the installation script from Joomla 5.1.4, and let the okay. Then all you have to do select the language. So these are languages available. I'll go with the default, which is English. Uh, enter the name of your Joomla site. So I'm just simply going to say JM5 and uh, JML5. <laughs> okay, set up login data. Now you need to uh, real name name of this. So I'm going to say that's my name. Set of the username. I'm going to say tube mint a password for the super user. I'm going to say tube mint. Enter the email address. I'm going to say support at mint.com and set up database. 
connection. So enter the database username. I want to root uh, database password, which is password. And you can see Zoom 5, that's our database name. This is going to be the prefix table. That is server controlled. Uh, one way authenticated, two way. So default server controlled. Just recheck everything. I've got okay, so it's going to use my SQL. You can also use PDO. Uh, you can rename this, okay? This prefix is just automatically password is too short, password must be at least okay. The installation is running. Check your database credential. Invalid field set to password for. It says installation running, okay? So this is the warning we have here. And it is asking you to have a strong password for both like username super username super user account and the sql 8 or mariadb or, or any other so let's see how it goes this is not an issue so let it run uh, and it is taking a bit longer, I can frankly tell you. But it does a lot of things in the... Uh, Joomla is really robust um, CMS. It gives you good features and control. and really powerful CMS. So let's see how long does it take. I think this is a progress bar. And something is not good. So it's taking a bit longer. Looks like. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to restart the process, okay? JM5, set up login. Uh, that's my name. Uh, username, I'm going to say tubemint. Password is going to be tube. Just make it strong, okay? Tubemint. Okay, now it says accepted. Password accepted email which is going to be so be place so okay so i'm going to go with the my sqli because it's defaulting it to it i don't know i already have database username root password is password I've got Zoom 5, okay? Guys, it is good idea to have a strong password for your database. This is prefix. Uh, I'm going to go with the control. This is completely optional. Make sure you've got PDO enabled on your uh, PHP, my PHP INI file. I do have enabled, so I'll go ahead and select. And then I'll go ahead and click install Joomla. And see, this time it, it's not taking long time. I think the problem was you must have a strong password. And this is what I was expecting. So in 2024, any CMS should not take that long time. So install additional languages. Uh, you can do that, which is really cool feature. You can see you don't get with uh, by like inbuilt in many CMSs. And this is really great. So open site, and then you also can get into admin. It doesn't let you open on the uh, on a new 
tab I tried to you can see uh, this is your yes I don't know what is this where is it coming from so zoom ready zoom that's my site home page index page yes uh, login form this is coming from zoom so let's see what happened layout default installation view removal nothing so how, how do you get there no you don't get so there this is your so I'll go with the tube mint it's been long I haven't tried it so what I'm going to do log out you see this is my log in form edit module let's see so it takes you back this is on site like you can do it from your very home page so module setting you are here at home so this is really uh, let's see awesome stuff so let me check you can go ahead and learn about your joomla here so joomla admin login uh, url administrator this is what i was thinking so go to administrator and type in your password uh, username and password and I am in looks like I forgot the password okay okay let me log in Okay, I'm back in. So guys, this is your admin. And this is really cool that I was able to install this Joomla on this local Windows 10 operating system. And Joomla has really changed a lot. Also, it gives you a lot of cool features that is required for today because you want to have your blogs and sites in multiple languages and with no extra cost right so thank you so much for watching bye